Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live and uh, trying to deal with a pair of broken glasses right now. But anyway, wanted to give you guys uh, an update on some, or not so much an update, but uh, bring out some very serious breaking news that is going on. Uh, I had my wife listen to this as well, this video footage here. Uh, and this is Chinese troops in Russia entering into Ukraine. Uh, in one of the trucks there, you will actually see Chinese riding on the side of the vehicle. Uh, and so it really sets a new precedent, new precedent uh, with Chinese troops entering into there. My wife said that um, the guy is actually saying something to the effect of, uh, this one right here is where the Chinese riding is on the side of this tanker there. There it is right there. Uh, let me let me back that up just a little bit. But she did confirm that he is talking about some form of other type of troops that are entering into Ukraine. There is the Chinese writing on there, uh, on the side of the vehicle. Uh, so no doubt, from what we can tell there, and we're trying to get some confirmation on this from Washington to see if uh, we can confirm that whether or not China is actually entering into uh, Ukraine to help Russia in their fight against uh, uh, Zeling, uh, you know, Zelensky and his uh, neo-Nazi thugs going on there. Also, uh, the Wall Street Journal was reporting that uh, Russia is now using Iranian kamikaze drones, creates uh, new dangers for Ukrainian troops is what they're saying. Well, you know, the funny thing is we had just reported ourselves on Israeli News Live, what, about a month ago or so? that uh, the United States had, had given uh, Ukraine kamikaze drones as well to use against Russian troops. So it looks like that Russia is only following in the footpath of the United States, uh, but uh, using Iranian drones now uh, to do the exact same thing that the United States had already done. In fact, uh, as we had shared that with you, we were telling you that Russia was gathering the, the information for China, supplying the information for China of the United States, the latest technology, and what they were doing. And, of course, uh, we had gotten that information that uh, the U.S. was using drones in there. Now, I did have a meeting uh, just here uh, yesterday. Uh, it was rather a brief meeting there, getting some updates, some things going on. One thing that was interesting, though, was the issue of Taiwan. And, of course, Taiwan, uh, just for... For the record here, Taiwan just had a 6.9 magnitude earthquake, uh, as can be seen in this video footage right here, when that quake begins to rock and roll. Look at the trees start swaying like crazy. Unbelievable. Not to mention the rocks falling and stuff, but it's like suddenly, you know, it's kind of interesting. Watch this, watch this, watch the trees. They're, they're not doing too much of anything, but then all of a sudden the trees go nuts everywhere. Uh, that's what a 6.9 magnitude quake could end up looking like real quick, like electrical lines flopping all over the place. A lot of people there are lucky they did not get killed. Um, anyway, though, what I wanted to share with you about Taiwan is this. Um, China and Russia have made an agreement that Russia will keep the United States busy with the war in Ukraine while China takes down Taiwan. That's exactly right. You heard that right. China and Russia have made an agreement to keep the United States busy while uh, busy with war with Ukraine, keep keep us preoccupied over there while the, the China takes uh, Taiwan down. Now, the, the strange thing about all this is, is that... Um, I was told that China is like the third, the world's third largest economy. And this is one reason why we can't just sit back and allow that to happen. So the United States uh, originally was not going to get involved with China, as I reported to you already. Uh, but suddenly the Biden administration did make a new, uh, a new deal, or excuse me, it made a new stance that they would, in fact, defend uh Taiwan in the event that China strikes Taiwan and was told that they would have no choice because if not, it would cause a massive Great Depression here. Uh, so that was something else I wanted to share with you guys there. This is the earthquake right there. In fact, they just had another earthquake. Um, 
in Taiwan uh, while I was preparing for the newscast a 5.5 uh, uh, earthquake there but that 6.9 had struck here earlier uh, very powerful quake there and that was where we get the video footage there coming from that particular quake so um, the ring of fire is not super busy right now but um, of course that could change around Puerto Rico it seems to be pretty busy in fact Puerto Rico is being hammered right now by a hurricane uh, in fact, let's just take a quick look at that just to see what's going on there in the Atlantic. Uh, yeah, Puerto Rico without power as Hurricane uh, Fiona makes landfall. Now, they still are showing, that's interesting, they're still showing that er that hurricane is going to turn, not hit mainland main United States. And uh, again, that has a lot to do with the United States utilizing CERN, or not CERN, but the... Um, the, uh, oh gosh, what do they call that big power station up there uh, in Alaska there in order to steer uh, storms into different directions. So they continue to do that. And uh, that's, that's kind of uh, alarming. But anyway, not that big of a hurricane, but it is expected, expected to put anywhere from 15 to 25 inches of rain out on Puerto Rico which is devastating. Then you top that off, we've also got the, um, you've got another, hur well, not a hurricane, but on the west coast there, um, let's see here, that was, what, let's see, National Hurricane Center. Um, I don't know if it would show that, yeah, maybe we can see that storm regardless just by going to the Pacific, Central Pacific, Oh, we don't want Central, we want Eastern Pacific. Still not seeing that other storm there. There was a storm up there um, that is right around Alaska they were talking about that was bringing a lot of much needed rain, but yet again, maybe too much rain. Uh, been some meteorites coming in too, and I haven't been speaking about those things because everybody seems to get all bent out of shape if you talk about meteorites there, but I know there was one that came over Ireland and England. They said that was huge in size, ended up hitting the Atlantic Ocean there, but I think it was over 1,200 reports of that meteorite that actually came in there. I'll just see real quick if we can't put that in for you. Um, there's been several of them come in lately, and I just have not reported them. Um, yeah, here we go. Large meteorite spotted burning uh, up over Scotland. There it is right there. And uh, Northern Ireland. Uh, but this one did plunge into the Atlantic. It didn't just burn up and uh, turn into nothing. It actually did hit the Atlantic Ocean there. So, yeah, they actually have some decent footage of this thing coming in. Uh, at one point, they had made mention that it was probably... Oh, gosh, look at the alligators. Uh, then not a sign that uh, reptilians are soon to return. Yeah, something we're going to be getting into as well. Very soon, we're going to be talking about this situation of... Um, I don't even know what know how to discuss this as of yet, but uh, I'm going to be talking about this situation with, good night, that is a huge, in Brazil, an invasion of crocodiles that have flooded one of the beaches with several hundred, even thousands, and the local population is panicking. Are the animals worried about something? A volcanic or earthquake is preparing Wow, that is absolutely amazing. You want to be able to get a closer bird's eye view of all these crocodiles. My goodness. I guess they are expecting something to go on, right? Anyway, I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. I'll get into this other issue with you later. It's a very serious issue. Uh, it's weird how they're all looking in the same direction, too. What are they anticipating? That is crazy, right? Very crazy. So anyway, uh, we're going to get into this situation that um, because it very clearly seems that the Antichrist is soon to be appearing. I'm going to talk about the red heifers and things like that that Israel's prepared. Uh, they came in from the United States. Uh, and I got some very interesting thoughts that I think you'll find eye-opening, to say the least. 